Hey guys, Dr. Price here with Action Potential Mentoring, and let's talk about thyroid nodules. These cause a ton of questions for students, and I want to make sure you get every single one of them correct. So first off, with a thyroid nodule, you need to get a TSH level, and you need to get an ultrasound. So the ultrasound is going to be really helpful to differentiate if the nodule is one to two centimeters and over two centimeters. So we're going to talk about those two findings first. So if the nodule is between one to two centimeters, you're only going to do a fine needle aspiration if there's a lot of internal vascularity, there's microcalcifications, as well as irregular borders. If it has any of those three characteristics and it's one to two centimeters, you're going to do a fine needle aspiration. This is important because those are higher risk characteristics. So now let's talk about if it's greater than two centimeters. All thyroid nodules that are over two centimeters get a fine needle aspiration. Let me repeat that. All thyroid nodules over two centimeters get a fine needle aspiration. So make sure you know the three characteristics to get the FNA if it's between one to two centimeters and know that once it hits two centimeters, you're always going to do an FNA. So the next thing I want to touch on is what is a good marker to look for recurrence of a thyroid nodule or thyroid cancer after you do an excision? So the answer for that is going to be thyroglobulin. The last thing I want to touch on is what should you do in a patient that's pregnant with a thyroid nodule? So if the thyroid nodule is stable, it's not growing, it doesn't have high risk characteristics, the best course of action is going to be to wait until after delivery of the baby. However, if the thyroid nodule is rapidly growing or it's some kind of aggressive thyroid cancer, the best time to do the thyroidectomy is in the second trimester. I hope that helps.